Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Nuggets News. Well today's video is going to be all about scams. I'm going to let you in on all their little secrets, the tricks that they use that they don't want you to know on how they rope people in. I'm going to talk about why it's hard to convince someone that they've been scammed than to scam them in the first place. And hopefully this video becomes a useful resource that you can share with all your friends and family that you think may have been scammed. So for those that are new to the channel, my name's Alex Saunders, the CEO of Nuggets News. And I've been in the world of crypto for coming on eight years now. And I've seen these scams pop up every year. And they always have a similar technique that they use. I'm going to talk about how they cover up what's actually underlying these pyramid schemes and Ponzi schemes. I'm going to touch on a few other types of scams as well. But basically, these days, scammers are everywhere. So it's no longer just websites and emails that they can target you. You know, we've got raft of social media, Telegram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. They can direct message you or they can just comment on things. Now, I'm a moderator of several large Facebook groups, so I see dozens of these a day. I'm board member of Blockchain Australia and I've worked with regulators, so hopefully I'm qualified uh, to be talking about this topic today. So let's get into it and let's talk about the different types of pyramid schemes and why people invest in them in the first place or what gets them hooked. So often it's to make money. Now these days with interest rates near zero, it's very hard to get any sort of return in a savings account. And that's really important where we remember what we call the risk-free rate. So there's no such thing as free money or even interest rates these days in most countries out there. So people have heard stories about riches being made by investing in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies or, or stocks, uh, and that's often what sucks them in. So another type of scam that we used to see um, with my pharmacy background was you know, romance, and they target people that they know that are looking for love and whatnot, and they've got a, you know, a girlfriend in Russia, and they've been sending tens of thousands of dollars over there to try and get them the passport to come to the country and whatnot. Now, in the pharmacy one day, we actually had the federal police come in, and they thought that someone had been laundering money because they'd been sending that much that much money overseas, but it was just an elderly gentleman that had been sucked into a scam. And we used to see this happen dozens of times. And even once they'd been told that they'd been scammed, they'd come back the next day and say, I got an email from my girlfriend, she explained what happened, and I'm sending her money, she's coming over again soon or next year or whatnot. So unfortunately, they do prey on those people. Other things we see is, you know, sympathy, um, you know, stories online of people with health conditions or whatnot or sob stories and they prey on people's emotions to get them to send money or even just extortion and holding people ransom unless you pay we're going to be doing x y or z and there's plenty of other types of scams as well so the main one i am going to talk about today is these ponzi schemes pyramid schemes that continue to suck people in um, and promise to make them money so who invests in these type of things? Well, it often is the traders and investors that have been looking to make money or want to get into that space. But very often, it's the financially illiterate people. So people that don't really understand trading or investing or compound interest, as well as people that aren't very tech savvy or crypto savvy. And because crypto is so new, that's the majority of people in this space. They don't fully understand how crypto works and blockchain and how people have been making money. And that's why so many people are vulnerable. But these days, they also have the email list of people that have been in previous scams. So a lot of people that got scammed in, say, BitConnect or USI Tech, they've got the same email list and then they target people with their latest scam that's wrapped in a new pretty package, another reason why they're going to make money. And it's actually the same people that get scammed over and over again. And they tell me, oh, I was really careful. I did more research on this one and they told me it wasn't a scam, but they just keep falling for these things. And finally, they can use keywords. So just like we have Facebook advertising and Google AdWords, Scammers can spend thousands of dollars to target people that they know have been searching for how to make money or how to invest in crypto, you know, get rich from property. And that's it's so easy for them to target um, the people that are vulnerable these days. So what do they have to get you to do to get the money and to actually scam you? Well, the old the old one, you know, is just send money through banks and whatnot and it's overseas to these dodgy regions and whatnot. And sometimes you can get chargebacks and the bank will look after you. But that's why crypto is even harder because there's no such thing as chargebacks and getting your crypto back. And that's why scammers do love crypto. Now, some people say that, oh, well, we need to ban crypto then. But, you know, the internet, Facebook, apps. There's so many things that have made it easier for scammers and they're just tools. There's always going to be a percent of people that are bad. So no, I don't think that uh, we should be banning phones just because scammers use phones and we shouldn't be banning crypto. So another technique if they can't get someone or fool someone to send in money or crypto is to get them to do things indirectly that will allow them to get that money. So hand over their private keys or their seed phrase, those backup words for your crypto wallet. Once they get those, 
they've got access to all your funds and it's gone forever. So I'll get to the elaborate tricks they use to get people to plug in these things and hand them over. Now, they also try to get passwords to log into your exchanges and apps and whatnot to send their crypto to yourself. Any sort of personal info is really valuable these days in forms of ID. This all sells on the dark web and can be used to extort you as well, so be aware of that. But getting you to install apps to collect all this information or try and scan for these sort of things on your computer and the viruses and, and malware that are attached to that. Now, the last thing I'll just mention is these days we've seen some nasty cases of even children's apps and games on things like iPads where they'll be trying to rope your kids in to hand over the info. You know, oh, what street do you live in? What does your dad do for work? And these kids will just be playing and thinking that they're playing a game and they'll be collecting all this info to come and rob you while you're on holidays or something. I've seen plenty of instances of that as well. Unfortunately, in the pharmacy world, we hear all these stories from the retail community. So how do they go about all this? Well, as I mentioned before, they really prey on people's emotions. So whether it's fear of missing out and greed and people want to get rich or it's the sympathy, you know, romance and love or, or really extorting people through fear. It's these emotions that they use to manipulate people and all these other techniques to really, really twist people's sense of reality. And when there's money involved, people become very emotional and they'll they'll defend these people that they've never even met on the other side of the world that are scammers just because they've put money in. So they have to appear to be legitimate. I'll talk about how they try to appear that way. And then social proof. So we often see these posts about message me or I made this money, it's not a scam. Uh, you know, I'll tell you how to do it. All these things that are trying to show social proof and, and legitimacy, but also urgency. You know, you need to do it now or the first 100 or quick do it, you know, time sensitive sort of thing. So all these things are trying to manipulate people. But the most important thing we're going to get to today is the story they use, the cover, because they're not just going to rock up and tell you that, hey guys, this is a scam. It's a pyramid scheme. We need you to sign up people. Uh, otherwise, you're not going to make any money. So they need to have a cover story and I'm going to walk you through those in the red flags. So often what we see in the world of cryptocurrency is things like trading bots. And people think that, oh, you know, 1% a day isn't that much or 10% a month. It's crypto. I hear about these things going up and down big percentages all the time. So they think that that's very possible. But there's no such thing as a magic trading bot that consistently makes money. Come back to the risk-free rate of 0 or 1% in a savings account. If it was easy to make that sort of money, 1% a day or 10% a month, wouldn't every investor in the world be doing it? Wouldn't all the smart guys be doing that? You know, that you've got to think about it from a realistic point of view. Now, mining is another one that gets people roped in. Cloud mining, they hear about people that didn't buy Bitcoin, they mined Bitcoin, and that's how they're going to get rich, and they hand over their money. Someone else tells them they're going to be doing mining for them and whatnot. So mining and cloud mining is something that's very common in the world of scams. And some more, I guess, uh, funky ones I've seen recently is things like um, a cover story was weed stocks, marijuana. So this industry is now booming. And if you buy a plant, you they harvest the seeds every month and you get 5 or 10% profit. And if you buy more trees, you make more money. And if you get friends to sign up to buy more marijuana trees, then you get a percentage of the seeds that they harvest from their plant as well. And they sell it each month. So as you can see, they start to get these elaborate cover stories, but it's all just covering up a pyramid scheme, the exact same thing every time. Another one I've seen going around is things like the latest technology and sky rails, invest in this sky rail, we need this much money, and then we can do the next stage of our research or development. Um, you know, you can't pull out funds because they've given you shares in the company and you know they have this they always have this light at the end of the tunnel where you're gonna get rich and how much money you've made on paper so far and whatnot. But yeah, these are all just cover stories, guys. It's um always too good to be true. So the red flags and the first one is probably all you need to know. If a company ever has regular returns, as I just mentioned, you know, a percent per day or a percent per month, that in of itself is a scam. Look no further. Now, along with these affiliate programs, by themselves, you know, referral links, affiliate links to get customers to new businesses and whatnot, there's nothing wrong with that or even multi-level marketing. Sometimes it's, you know, a bit frowned upon by certain people, but that doesn't really make something a scam. But when it comes to investing money and getting people signed up to profit, that is always a scam. And so when these two are together, um, definitely a scam, look no further. Other things that they do, 
um, giveaways, you know, freebies, um, forks in the cryptocurrency world. So when there's another, you know, an airdrop or a fork and they say you need to give us your private key or your password or whatnot to collect this new coin and just plug it into our website and they say, oh, we don't keep your details, this is safe or download this app. You know, it's, it's on your computer, it's nothing to do with us, but as soon as you hand over or type in your password or private key into any of these apps or sites, they've got all your info and, and you've been scammed. Legit coverage. So ask yourself, have you seen the trusted guys in the crypto community talking about this scam? Have you seen it on you know Twitter and the news sites and all the reputable people? And often it's the second tier. And again, people that don't really understand what they're talking about that they target with this. So you know if you're ever unsure, maybe shoot the team a message or whatnot. But um, hopefully by this video, you can answer for yourself that there's no such thing as free money. It's always too good to be true. Um, they're never going to have legitimate coverage. So websites or apps where the assets exist in only, that's the next point. And as I said before, a lot of people will tell you how much money they've made or tell you how many tokens they've got, how much crypto they're mining and how much profit they've got you know, next year. But it's all just a number on a screen in an app. It doesn't exist anywhere. It's not there, guys. So if you can't freely trade these tokens and, and sell them for Bitcoin and then withdraw them for Bitcoin or whatnot, if they're locked up and not tradable, that's a huge red flag. And particularly when there's barriers to withdrawal. So when they say, oh, it's going to be, you know, you can only withdraw once a month or it costs you 30% to withdraw. You lose your, you know, affiliate commission that month if you withdraw. They're putting up barriers to entry because they have to keep people trapped in the pyramid. Otherwise, the pyramid collapses. The next one is transparent data. So when they tell you they've got this magic internet bot that has these strategies that makes 10% a month, well, Get them to show you what the strategies are. Get them to show you the entries and exits. And now they'll often have Photoshopped footage or even live videos where they'll Photoshop a video and then go live on Facebook and try and make it all seem really legitimate. So you have to say, well, show me that data on the public blockchain. If you're trading Bitcoin or Ethereum, show me those wallet addresses. Show me them going up 10% each month and the payouts going to all these individual people. Show me on those transparent, freely available open source public ledgers. And that's where they'll try and direct you to their app or website where these assets exist only numbers on a screen they don't exist in the real world next one is the history of the people behind it so often they'll be the same people that were behind another scam that just collapsed and they're in these areas that are you know where are they domiciled they're in these dodgy areas where they're protected from lawyers and there's the banking systems a little bit gray so you know the cayman islands russia these type of places very very rarely will they be set up in somewhere like the united states or australia now, one of the things they actually do is target people to try and get them to register in Australia. And we had one of these happen recently because scammers see that as a cost of doing business. They're happy to pay someone tens of thousands of dollars to look after them, fly them over, try and convince them and manipulate them that they're legitimate. And that way they'll register a business for them in Australia and they'll even pay some tax to the ATO because on their website they can say registered in Australia, paying tax to the ATO. And that way they're getting 10 times as many people because they believe it's legitimate. So that's just a cost of doing business for them. And there is one that we're trying to bring down in Australia at the moment that is doing that. So let's head over here and talk about the pyramid and how this all works. So the very common strategy here is, you know, five to 10% a month or 1% a day, and you get a percent of commissions. And then there's, a, there's tiers of commissions for the more levels of people you sign up. So Often these websites will even have a pyramid on them to show you how it works and people still don't believe it's a pyramid scheme. But at the start, we have people that are you know, investing maybe $1,000 and they'll say, well, after a few months, you know, I'm up to $300. Now, that might just be on the screen in their app or website. But even if they've withdrawn $100 for three months in a row, that's the worst case scenario. And because they put up these barriers to withdraw, often people don't. So there's very few people that will be withdrawing their 10% per month. So worst case scenario for them is that they have to maybe give out $300 after three months and they've still made $700 profit. And that's when people say, oh yeah, it's working, it's great. I'll put in 10,000 now. And even again, that story, it doesn't matter if they have to pay out 3,000, that's the very, very worst case scenario that very few people do. They're now up 7,000 and you've probably started signing up or your friends and family at that stage. So this is where it gets interesting, the, the middle tier people, and they'll try and feel you out and get a feel for whether you're legitimate, whether you're financially savvy and tech savvy or not. And, and to be honest, if you're not, they're the, you're the perfect candidate to keep 
fooling people and keep signing up people. And this is where the brainwashing really starts. So all these techniques I already mentioned, as well as making these people feel really important, giving them a lot of money, maybe giving them more payouts than normal, or they may be making a lot a lot more money than everyone else at this stage because they've got 10 people under them and then 10 more people under them for each of those 10 people. So they might've actually made a fair bit of money, even though personally they've only put in say 10 grand, they're moving their way up the pyramid. And once they know that you're a fool, they'll give you more responsibility. So you'll be the admin of the Facebook group and you'll be their regional manager and that way they can really control the narrative and if there's any troublemakers that question anything they just block you and remove you from these groups and it becomes a real real echo chamber and the trouble is that the people that are in charge are actually brainwashed and believing everything so it's very hard to make any changes and I've even seen lawyers and people that are actually educated that have made so much money that they're completely sucked in by this um, and it really is scary how well they do this and they also play the blame game. So they'll say that, oh, you did a video about it and then lots of people tried to withdraw and that's why the system failed. The bot stopped making money because you made a video about it and some people tried to withdraw. So they'll deflect all the attention rather than people actually saying, well, gee, is it maybe collapsing because they're not making 10% a month and there's no money here and it's all just smoke and mirrors on the screen of this app or the website that we're all signed into. So let's talk about the top tier, and these are the genuine scammers. So they've put in very little money other than to you know start the thing up and whatnot, but they're the ones that are making away with millions of dollars um, of all these funds that are flowing up to the top. So rather than think about it as making 10% a month or five to 10% off the people you sign up, I, people just refuse to think of it as they're keeping 90% of your money every month and 90 to 95% of everyone you sign up and that's all gone. It's going to these people. So at the start, here's a chart of what I call the compound collapse. This is why they're mathematically guaranteed to collapse and it usually happens within a year, two years. We've seen one coin, I think, extend out to three or four years. That's the longest running ever because mathematically, it's guaranteed to collapse because there's two exponential curves that are working against them. The first one is the number of users. So as you sign up more and more people, then they sign up more people, we get that exponential growth and it hits that escape velocity. And as well as the number of payouts and the other, the cost, the amount that they've promised people on the screen in their website, website Side or app, as they work their way up their pyramid, and they go, geez, I'm up to 30 grand now. They really start to try and withdraw, even if it is a 30% cost to withdraw in a one month wait. They've actually got that much on the screen that they're trying to now withdraw money out. So once we have these two curves, they hit this sort of critical mass, this threshold where it's no longer viable. The actual amount of money that they've got coming in is, is pretty low and constant because there's no magic magic bot or mining facility that's compounding these returns and it's compound interest which people don't understand. I'll link a compound interest calculator below and I'll let you see how compound interest always brings down these scams generally about three or four years down the track. So this is at the stage where they they say, you know what, um, they start to make excuses. Oh, we've got to do an upgrade or no payout this month. Something happened. We've got a court case. This is where all the, all the excuses start. And basically, they make off with the actual amount of money that they've got, minus all the costs they had, you know, paying out the mid-tier guys, paying out a little bit to the bottom and paying out their lawyers and whatnot to try and keep the scam going as long as possible. Um, that's when they get off with all those millions of dollars. That's the theft amount of money there. So... The final thing I just want to mention about the people that are in this scam is people that say, well, you know what, you know, who, it might be a scam, but I'll just sign up anyway. Or people that say, you know what, probably is a scam, but I just want to make money. Or the people that go, you know, I'm making so much money, I don't care. Well, if you're at the, the bottom of the tier here, you're almost guaranteed not to make more money than what you put in. So that's the first place. You're going to lose money. 90% of people are going to lose money. Now, on top of that, if you're somewhere a bit further up the pyramid, you've probably signed up friends and family and work colleagues. And when that collapses, they're going to be really angry at you. You're going to burn bridges and friendships. But they can also you know, get the authorities onto you, maybe push charges. But the charges and the authorities are starting to come after the mid-tier guys, the influencers and YouTubes and regional managers. And I've messaged a few people on Facebook recently saying, you know what? 
guys, you're going to get in trouble. Um, no, I don't care how much money you make. You're going to get bigger fines than that, and you're going to get you know criminal records and whatnot. So that's the mid tier, and then the top tier, as we've seen, you know, all the the FBI, all the cyber crime divisions, they've started to catch these. All the scams are collapsing, and they're going to spend the rest of their life in prison. So there's just no good that can come from this pyramid, even if you're one of the very few that might be somewhere in the middle and actually make a bit of money and and not get fined. I just think that uh, you know, I'm not sure how you can live with your your conscience knowing that everyone else is getting fleeced and people have lost their life savings and some people have even lost their lives when they realize how much money they've got and they're broken they've lost everything so look wrapping this all up i just think it gives crypto a bad name there's so much of this happening now one coin had four billion dollars so what happens when they dump those coins on the market well it causes the price to crash not only that it was from people that wanted to invest in the crypto space or at least wanted to make some money so if they had a bought bitcoin or held bitcoin that you know that's actually bringing up the price as opposed to bringing the price down and crashing the price with all these scams that are billions and billions of dollars now it's actually a pretty fair percentage of the total market cap of bitcoin and it's keeping price down so yeah i just think we need to be so aware of this please share this video with friends and family so they understand what's going on i think the crypto space would be in such a better you know, place and heading in a better direction if everyone was aware of this and we didn't have any scams. Unfortunately, they're a part of life, so education is key. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video around, and I will talk to you again soon. Cheers.